Recently, we were on site with Lee Jerry at Conrad Shipbuilding. Uh, he captured this data I'm about to bring up on the screen. It's a uh, fabricated item, a house that sits on, on on a deck on one of their ships that they're building. Sheet metal. So he did a very nice scan. We had some targets in the scene. Next, what we're going to do is bring up the CAD model, uh, ship constructor model that corresponds to this. It's actually a mesh representation uh, that we extracted using a plug-in in AutoCAD. We had to convert the units to millimeters for this registration process. We're using a three-plane registration technique to stitch together the point cloud to register the to align the point cloud with the uh, ship constructor model. So we're going to select uh, three planes. The first one is uh, is the deck. So we've selected it in the point cloud and in the CAD model, and then we'll pick two walls. So the first wall is uh, the back wall here, and we'll pick the corresponding wall in the uh, in the CAD. These could is easily be bulkheads or or hull sections. And there we can see we have them aligned. Um, we blended both the CAD and the point cloud, so you can see they're aligned in the same coordinate system. There's a little deviation, you notice in the lower right hand corner between the CAD and the point cloud. When we were in this uh, room you could you could actually push the walls a little bit. They're they're sheet metal, so it wasn't totally rigid. And now we're computing the distance map, the deviation map between the CAD and the point cloud. This is all being done on a NVIDIA Shield tablet, all of the processing of this data. And we've color coded it. I'm going to adjust the color threshold or the scale for this in, in just a second. So the red items uh, are items that are in the point cloud but not in the in the in the structural model. So you can see some bits of steel. And uh, the walls are off a little bit compared to the to the structural model, to the ship constructor model. So, and then the last step is to export this model, this registered point cloud in the uh, CAD coordinate system. So now that we've aligned it to the CAD, then we'll export it in that coordinate system, and then we'll bring that uh, open that data up in Recap and then send it along to the ship constructor model so we can look at it there. So I've renamed the point cloud to indicate that it's aligned with the CAD with the with the ship constructor model. And we specify the uh, uh, on the save we specify the coordinate system being the design coordinate system. Here we are importing this uh, registered point cloud, this uh, point cloud that's been aligned with the CAD tool into Recap. The DP files go directly into Recap. And when Recap is finished indexing the file, We'll have a look at it, and then we'll export it uh, in the recap in the RCP format. So here we have the file, this aligned point cloud and recap. We'll look at it in ortho mode.
Next, we're going to export this file so it's in the recap format. It's only one setting in recap. We adjust the point spacing to one millimeter. This has been sped up. Okay, now we're going to bring up the AutoCAD file, the actually the ship constructor file. Now we're going to bring up the ship constructor file, and then we'll attach the recap file that we just produced from the registered point cloud. And because it's aligned already, we just uh, set the corresponding orange origins to be the same, zero, zero, zero. We'll look at it in plan view and then zoom in. So we can see a little deviation in uh, between the point cloud and the and the ship constructor model, uh, particularly in the lower right hand corner, looks like the wall's been pushed in a little bit. But the alignment's good. So then we'll save this uh, AutoCAD file with the with the, including the point cloud.